So what are the top six things that you could do to sell your house efficiently and for the most money possible if you're looking to sell? Well, this video is for you. Hey guys, Kelly Cook with Cook & Associates Real Estate Advisors. And we wanna jump into those six things right away so you can make that list, check it twice, and get these things ready for your house to achieve top dollar even in this market, which is a little more challenging given rates where they are. Number one, curb appeal. Now this seems obvious, but guys, you'd be surprised how many homes we see that just doesn't have that good a curb appeal. That's the first thing, it's the first impression a buyer will have when they drive up to your house or even see the house in the photos. But the curb appeal has to be on point. The little flowers, the color as you walk up to the house, the exterior paint, it must be good, guys. If it's faded, take the money, get the house painted, it is well worth the investment. There is an ROI on that. So number one is curb appeal. Number two, this goes along with curb appeal, but the second thing that's very important is change the door handle. That's right, change the front door handle if it is weathered at all. If it is older and older style, weathered, change that door handle. That's a lot cheaper than having to change out maybe the entire door, but that goes along with the curb appeal of making sure it's painted fresh, looking nice. But the door handle is the first thing they do what? Touch, and that's important. It gives them a feeling this house is gonna be great. If you don't have that, if it's a rusted door handle that's not in good condition, that's the first thing they touch, and psychologically, it leaves them thinking, oh boy, what am I gonna see next if the door handle is not nice? So don't fight that uphill battle get the buyers sliding down the hill from the first time they walk in your house as opposed to looking up the mountain because they have this thought that the house may not be as nice as the front door handle. Number three, which is also a nice little touch that is not very expensive to do, is make sure all the hardware and fixtures match their uniform, the same color, whether, whether it be matte black, um, antique bronze, whether it be a brushed nickel, whatever it may be, make sure they match uniformly throughout the house, including the door hinges. That's right, the person who's looking through the engineer type, the accountant, attorney type, they're gonna be a little more um, detailed on their walkthrough of your house and they will notice those little things that do not match. So if you're looking for top dollar, that's one little small thing that can pay huge dividends for not much effort and not much cost. Number four, stage your home. Now we're not talking about necessarily going to hire a professional stager. You could do that and we work with a great one, but we do provide you a staging consultation, which is like an audit of every single room that you may or may not choose to use the advice of our professional stager that we provide when we meet with you. However, she's going to work with you to stage your house with your own furniture and accessories, assuming you have good stuff that matches the overall design decor of your property. And what's great is that if you have good furniture that matches everything, but your accessories are maybe lacking, she will give you that ability to just stage with those things, or maybe go buy them yourself at the place that has the best prices for those accessories that you may need. So it's a huge resource. Take advantage, take the advice, and get the house situated to stage it as best as you possibly can. Number five, eliminate any pesky odors. Guys, every house has some sort of odor to it, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent, but there is usually some type of odor. So have a friend come over, have a third party come over and just say, hey, do you smell anything? What do you smell? Um, and if so, how can you remedy it? Well, you can do so by air fresheners and candles. And a lot of times that's all it takes because it's, it's not that strong, but it may have this particular odor that you just want to do your best job to try to eliminate to make it as neutral as possible. Okay, and last one, number six, it's pricing your home appropriately. That's right, you can start higher, you can start lower, because at the end of the day, we are hired and we want you to get the highest dollar possible. There's two different ways that that could be achieved. If you start high, just listen to what the market is saying. The market is efficient within a margin of error of, we say, usually around about 10%. So if for some reason that higher price isn't working, just get to the price where the market is saying it will, and we'll be able to have a good shot at selling your house for a really healthy price deal. Or if you start low, then the, because the market is usually efficient, the marketing will bring about so many buyers that even in a market like today, we are still receiving multiple offers on properties. So either way, it could work, but the key is to make sure you're listening to what the market's saying, 
and uh, being advised on all the data that we are tracking on your behalf. So those are the six things that you really need to know before you sell your house in this market. So give us a call or click on the link below my home value calculator and get the value of your house. And myself, one of our agents will give you a call and appropriately advise you and help you get your house prepped the right way to have an amazing home sale. And don't forget, check us out right here on our Instagram page at Kelly Cook Homes, and we're putting out daily content for your personal enjoyment. Thank you as always, guys, and don't forget to call me. Call. Oh,